we have so many clients with with so many talents. Yeah, artists, painters, linguists, just amazingly intelligent and resilient people that are now part of our community. I really just, I appreciate beauty. That's why I try to make my arts like look beautiful. I have one that was a mistake, but it ended up looking good, which I really love it so much. And it really gives me joy like doing them. I just feel happy. Because after the class, I kept going to the art studio to make more, just to make me feel relaxed. We're, we're lucky to have them here. We're a better city because of them. So when uh, we're able to share and lift them up, um, their art, their their voice, their experience, um, just it's, it's part of our mission here to do that. Represent something, each piece that we create as an artist. And for myself, in my painting, as I said, that I show the, the richness of my country. I often go in those scenes, I used to, not now. I used to visit the town and city and learn about the color, the nature, and see the, because mostly I did a lot of portraits. I would look into their faces and their feelings. You could see a lot, so when you go through that, it helps you to create that piece on canvas. And so that's the way for me to connect with my artwork as I am uh, doing. If, when you look at my artwork, it's not just one smooth art style. A lot of artists have one technique or two, but I just go, you know, wild with different art techniques. You, you can see impressionist, abstract, realistic pieces, and some are like very three-dimensional look into it. So it just, just uh, when I go there, I learn it, you know. I experience it, and then I put it in the in the canvas. You know, people on our staff from, from many of the countries we serve, uh, they were doctors and engineers and lawyers back home, and now they're focused on the same mission I am, and that's just welcoming people who need it.